Good afternoon, I am Jeff Buys Cars. I have a beautiful evening here and this is my Jaguar X-Type, which I'm gonna tell you all about. So a Jeff follower got in touch and said, Jeff, would you like to buy my Jag? And I said, meh, probably not. When he told me the details, I thought that actually sounds like a very sensible buy. I'm trying not to crunch on the gravel here, but it is a 2008 two litre diesel with 99,000 miles on the clock. I've just collected it today. I've driven maybe 80 miles in it and it is lovely and it has averaged 56 miles to the gallon. So instead of looking at a Mark III Ford Mondeo in a dress, let's take a look at this proper Jag. But if it is just a Mondeo in a dress, is there really anything wrong with that? The Mark III Mondeo, upon which the X-Type uh, shares quite a few bits, was a very good car. It doesn't have the traditional Jaguar build quality. It doesn't feel like a proper Jag, but what a respectable looking thing that is, complete with Leaper on the front. This one's done 99,000 miles, and I actually really rather like it. Anyway, I don't think this has been a very good video because despite the fact that there's some lovely cars here today, the birds are noisy and the, uh, the shadows are long. So let's cut that short and I'll cut in some footage of my review from earlier on. I am currently achieving 57.4 miles to the gallon average in my Mondeo in a frock, as many people would call it. But if the Jaguar X-Type is indeed underpinned by the Mark III Mondeo, well, what's wrong with that? The Mark III Ford Mondeo was a great car. I do believe these cars are better with the 2.2 litre engine. This is only the two litre. It's absolutely not gutless but that 2.2 is really fast, so I think it's a better engine. I've got a Leaper on my bonnet, which I'm very excited about. I don't think I've ever had a Jag with a Leaper. Inside, it is lovely. I have this oatmeal leather with this black ebony finish on the dashboard, black dash top, beige everywhere, very nice spec, black carpets. Outside, the black continues. The paint is pretty much exactly the same, as the XK that I had last summer, i.e. not very good and quite cracked. But, as a cheap car, I don't know what this car is worth. I have paid below market value because it came from a Jeff follower and because he wanted me to have it and because he was leaving the country and it needed to be collected on a certain day. So I've got some sort of mates rates on this car, but I don't know. Two grand? Let's say it is a £2,000 car. It might be a little bit more than that. Let's say it's a two grand car. It's comfortable, stylish, respectable, very cheap to run, and it's a jag. What is there not to like about that? I think it's brilliant. It's a great looking car, nice specification, feels good to drive, feels good to look at. 
think that's all I've got to say about the Jaguar X-Type. You could get one with a petrol engine. It would be nicer to drive one with a petrol engine, but it would be expensive on tax and it would be expensive on fuel. There's nothing wrong with a diesel Jag to waft around in. So if you needed a car, say, for work, and you needed something that was good on fuel, my Jag might just be the ticket for you. Although, I've got a few things I need to do with it before I part with it, including a fuel economy challenge against an electric Porsche. The MacMaster, I'm talking about you. I'm coming for you. I'm gonna prove that my cheap Jag is easier to drive to Cornwall than your Porsche. So do make sure you like my videos, do make sure you are subscribed and you click the notification button to ensure that you get notifications about my new videos about cars and conspiracies and coffee and conversation and everything in between i really like this this is this is rather lovely i can definitely get used to this it needs a sunroof though so uh should we fire up the angle grinder it's like a target top x type jag that would be brilliant wouldn't it YouTube's most boring car channel.